Hello students, this is Mekha and today we will do the poem of 11th class of photograph by Shirley Thompson. Sometimes when we miss our close ones, our friends, then what we do? We search for their Facebook or Insta account or we look for the photos that have the memories of the best time spent together. In this poem, the poet is looking at the photograph of her mother and recalling the good old days. The poem, a photograph is written by Shirley Towson and in this poem she recalls her mother and her memories while looking at a childhood photograph when her mother was 12 years old. Now I'm going to explain the poem stanza wise. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling each one holding one of my mother's hands and she, the big girl, sub-12 years or so. In this stanza, uh, you will find a new word paddling and it means walking. So, in these lines, the poet is looking at an old photo album which is made up of a cardboard. And in the picture, there are three girls, as you can see here, who are walking on the beach holding each other's hands. Right, the girl in the middle is the tallest and the oldest. The other two girls on each side are younger than her. The girl in the middle is the poet's mother, and she is around 12 years old when the photograph, when the picture was taken. All three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera. A sweet face, my mother's, that was before I was born. In these lines, the poet describes how the photograph was taken. Who is taking the photograph here? Her mother's uncle. He took the photograph and told them to stop and pose. All three of them left their wet hair open and smiled at the camera. The poet's attention is drawn towards her mother's face which is described as a sweet face because she was just 12 years old then and quite innocent. The photograph was taken long before the poet was born. And the sea, which appears to have changed less, washed their terribly transient feet. Transient here means short term or temporary. In these lines, the poet called their feet terrible transient as they were so young by then and now they had grown older. On the other hand, the From sea which touched their feet later, has changed she'd laugh less. at the snapshot. See, Betty and Dolly, she'd say, and look how they dressed us for the beach. And after 20-30 years later, she would the mother would laugh at the photograph and she would tell the poet to look at her cousins. Who were the cousins here? Two names are here, Betty and Dolly, and how their parents would dress all three of them up for the beach. The sea holiday was her past, mine is her laughter. Both rye with the labored ease of loss. Rye here means ironic, mocking. While looking at the photograph, the poet says that the beach holiday was her mother's favorite past memories, while her love, her mother's love, was the poet's favorite memory. Both of them lost something which they cherished a lot and yet cannot leave that moment again. Those sweet moments were memories now. Now, she's been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived and of this circumstance there's nothing to say at all. It's silence, silences. Silences, we all know, it means a complete absence of sound. In these lines, the poet says that her mother died 12 years ago, the same age her mother was in the photograph. Whenever the poet thinks of her mother's death, she cannot explain what effect she has of her mother's death. Death has silenced her mother, which has also left the poet speechless. Yaha poet kehna chahati hai ki poet ki mother ki death ke baad, poet is left alone now aur charon taraf sirf khamoshi hi khamoshi chai hui hai. Students, with this, the poem ends here. And this poem has the theme of loss, memories, and transients of life. 
लॉस किसका पोइट की मदर का और मेमरीज पोइट्स की अपनी मदर की मेमरीज और उनकी मदर की तरफ से उनकी चाइल्डहुड की मेमरीज एंड ट्रांजियंस ऑफ लाइफ इट एक्सप्लोर्स हाउ पीपल मे डाई बट इन अ स्ट्रेंज वे दे कंटिन्यू टू लिव ऑन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मेमरीज वही बात है लोग हमारे बीच नहीं रहते लेकिन उनकी यादें रह जाती है लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ द पोम फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट डज द वर्ड कार्डबोर्ड डिनोट इन द पोम व्हाई हैज दिस वर्ड बीन यूज्ड कि कार्डबोर्ड वर्ड इस पोम में क्यों यूज किया जा रहा है तो वी ऑल नो व्हाट इज अ कार्डबोर्ड हेयर कार्डबोर्ड इज अ फोटोग्राफ दैट इज पेस्टेड ऑन अ कार्डबोर्ड एंड इट्स अ फोटोग्राफ ऑफ पोइट्स मदर एंड हर टू गर्ल्स कजिन्स बैटी एंड डॉली क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकेंड What has the camera captured? In this poem, we see that the uncle was taking the photograph and he was capturing poet's mother and her two cousins Betty and Dolly on the beach. They went for paddling where her mother's uncle captured the photo in between the moment. Her mother was around 12 years old and was in the middle. She was holding the hands of her cousins who were on the side of her. Oh this question it's very important what has not changed over the years does this suggest something to you ki itne saal beet gaye lekin kya cheez hai jo change nahi hui hai to photo mein wo sirf ek cheez hai wo hai nature jo wahan par sea behta hua dikh raha hai wo change nahi hua hai the lines and the sea which appears to have changed less depict that the sea which touched her mother's feet is the one which has not changed over the years whereas her mother and cousins grew older the sea symbolizes eternity and immortality next question what is the meaning of the line both rhyme with the labor ease of loss okay so we have discussed it already the above lines means the poet's mother felt pain whenever she saw the old photograph because the innocent childhood days would never be back those are just the memories while the poet has lost her mother 12 years ago and she misses her a lot and recalls her laughing dono ka loss hai aur dono ne is loss ke sath jeena seekh liya hai so dear students what is the philosophy of the poem photograph a photograph is about impermanence of life The poet also tells that photograph is not just a positive print which is recorded by a camera it's rather a captured moment which later becomes a beautiful memory it holds those moments which might never get back photograph sirf camera se nikla hua ek photo hi nahi hai balki ye ek captured moment hai jo baad mein ek beautiful memory ban jati hai with this the chapter ends here thank you goodbye and jai hind